I'm Chris Crummett, and you're checking out my producer, Kemper Bundle. What I look for in a guitar tone when I'm in the studio is generally pretty dependent on what the artist wants, but I always have something in the back of my head that kind of defines what I want to hear in my interpretation of their sound. So, you know, if we're going for something clean, I want something really big and lush and cool, but it can be dry or it can have verb, but like I just, I want things to sound really 3D and kind of like uh, based on my influences. And then if we're going for something high gain, I'd really like to have something full range uh, that just kind of like shakes the room. And that's, that's my sort of thing. And then if we're going for something that's mid-gain, I just like to break out the old amps and crank up the master volume and just get those power tubes cooking and make sure it sounds awesome. The Kemper is really beneficial for storing sounds and logging all the different tones I've created over the years. It's also really cool for people who are playing guitar at home or have home studios or in a studio situation where you can't mic up a super loud amp or you don't have 300 different amps to choose from you just go to the Kemper and you choose your favorite tone and you roll with it it's the only thing that feels natural and feels real to play and I really enjoy that about it With my Kemper bundle, you can expect sounds ranging from really lush, clean tones to super chimey crunch sounds, all the way into distorted rock tones that are more martially and British. And then we have some super heavy, awesome, saturated stuff. And there's tons of sound in between. And each of those categories has all kinds of stuff from all the different amps I own and have used. And you can also expect to hear my unique take on how these amps sound and what I really love about every single one of them. Over the years, I've built up quite a collection of gear and we've incorporated a lot of it into this Kemper bundle. We have amps and cabs ranging from the early 1960s to the 2010s, all kinds of cool speakers. We've used quite a few mics and a few different mic pre's to get the perfect tone for each setup. A lot of different pedals that are from my personal collection. I've been really picky about selecting things that are what I like to use on records. Different overdrives and distortions, couple different tube screamers. Every amp has tubes that I've personally selected that sound perfect for that amp. Uh, I've rolled all different kinds of preamp tubes and power tubes in every one of my amps to make sure the tone is exactly the way I want to hear it. I also have a robotic mic stand that lets me control where the mic is on the cab while listening in the control room and it's perfect for dialing things in and making sure the mic is in the exact perfect place. Even every little millimeter of movement makes a difference to the tone. So when I can control it in here when I'm listening, it gives me exactly what I want. We got creative with the guitar cabinet setup. I have multiple cabs with different speakers and what I really enjoy doing is using two cabs with completely different speakers, miking up both cabs and running it with one head. And then we blend the two cabs together for different tones. Sometimes they'll be even, sometimes you'll have one a little louder than the other, or vice versa. Head to stltones.com to check out my producer Kemper Bundle.